Hey guys, today we are making Hawaiian hot dogs topped with a pineapple salsa and bacon bits. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. The ingredients you will need are 1 fourth of a medium pineapple, 1 small tomato, 1 large clove of garlic, 1 small red onion, 2 green or red chili peppers, 1 tablespoon of culantro or 3 tablespoons of cilantro, juice of 1 small lime, sea salt and black pepper. Hey boys and girls, our first pit stop is to make our pineapple salsa to top our Hawaiian hot dogs. So our first ingredient for making our pineapple salsa, well, you guessed it, pineapple of course. So here I've got a quarter of a pineapple in which I'm going to dice. So I got the idea from watching one of those big YouTube channels which I follow from time to time but I'm going to put a different twist to making my pineapple salsa and you will see this as we go along. So here I've got some strips of pineapple which I'm going to cut into smaller strips and then turn it around and then give it a fine dice. Well guys, here I'm just making sure that I get a proper dice on those pineapples, so I'm running the knife through it again. So guys, our pineapple is all diced up. I'm going to put it in a bowl and then we are going on to the next ingredient. I'm also going in with quarter of a medium red onion, which I'm going to give a rough chop. So you know, this will be the first time that I'll be trying a pineapple salsa together with a hot dog. So we'll see how this goes. So we have gotten our red onions all roughly chopped. I'm going to add it to the party here now together with the pineapple. Now that we have gotten our red onion in the mix, here's the difference. I'm going in with two chili peppers instead of a jalapeno. And we are going in with seeds and all. Here I'm just cutting off the stems. Then I'm going to give them a rough chop. I figure that using the chili peppers will add a bit of a more spicy flavor to the pineapple salsa than the jalapeno. Now that our chilies are done, I'm going in with about 3 to 4 leaves of culantro, giving this a rough chop. I'm looking for about approximately 1 tablespoonful. So I know culantro will be a bit hard to find, so you can go in with about 3 tablespoons of roughly chopped cilantro instead. Well, as you can see, our pineapple salsa is coming together slowly but surely. Here I'm going in with a tomato. I'm removing the top of the tomato, then I'm going to slice it and then remove the seeds and then give it a fine dice. Removing the seeds helps with adding less liquid to our pineapple salsa because we are already going to add the juice of one lime, so we do not need any extra liquid. Now that we have removed the seeds, we are just going to thinly slice our tomato pieces and then we are going to give it a fine dice afterwards. So now that our tomatoes are sliced into some thin strips, we are now going to give it a fine dice. Now that our tomatoes are all diced up, I'm going in with one large clove of garlic which I have grated, approximately one and a half teaspoon. And I'm also going in with the juice of one small lime, approximately about one teaspoon of lime juice. The freshness of the lime juice will help bring out those flavors. Well, now that I've gotten the juice of one lime, I'm also adding some salt and black pepper here to taste. Remember folks, we are all adding layers of flavors here and the salt and the black pepper will help to bring out all those flavors. Now that we have gotten everybody in the pool, it's time to give it a good old toss to make sure that all those flavors are properly well incorporated. After doing this, set this in your fridge and leave it for about an hour to two hours. That will help to enhance the flavors. While your pineapple is chilling in the fridge, our second pit stop is to go cook us up some bacon and hot dogs. Let's go! 
You will need hot dogs, bacon, one fourth cup of yellow mustard, one and a half to two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of oil, and one tablespoon of unsalted butter, and hot dog rolls. So my cast iron griddle is all warmed up. Let's lay down some bacon. I tell you, there's nothing to compare to the smelling and the sizzling of bacon when cooking. It's about 5 minutes that our bacon is on, so let's give them a flip now. You want to cook your bacon to your desire. And here's a bit of a close-up. I personally like my bacon somewhere in between, but in this instance, I prefer to have a few crispy pieces and some not so crispy, so that will help with the texture. And I say, I think this is where I want my bacon to be, so let's get it off the grill and onto a plate. So now that we have got off our bacon, I'm just going down with a tablespoon of vegetable cooking oil. You can use any cooking oil of your choice. Now that our oil is all heated up, I'm going down with the hot dogs. Here I'm using 100% beef hot dogs. And here's our delicious all beef hot dogs sizzling away. These hot dogs are already been cooked, but here I'm just looking for a bit of color and also to help crisp up the skin. This will help to enhance the flavor of the hot dogs. In the last 5 minutes of cooking your hot dogs, you want to add about a tablespoon of butter. This will help to crisp it up and add a bit of color and also flavor as well. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, you will know it's all about the layers of flavor. While our hot dogs are sizzling away in that butter, let's warm up our hot dog rolls. So here I have got 3 hot dog rolls going on. You just want to warm your hot dog rolls on all sides. So just give them a flip around as you start to warm them up. And here you can see our hot dogs are getting nice and toasty. And you can also see the hot dogs in the back there. They are looking nice and golden brown. That butter has a lot to do with it. Well, I say it's time to get those hot dog rolls off. Well, our hot dog rolls are off. It's time to get off our hot dogs now. And as you can see how the hot dogs are looking, it is looking as though it has started to get a bit of a char. And that is what we are looking for. That helps bring out those flavors. So I say it's time to go build ourselves a couple of Hawaiian hot dogs. But first off, we have got to make our own honey mustard. I'm going in with a quarter cup of just plain old yellow mustard. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm going with one and a half to two tablespoons of honey. And this is the main ingredient of course. And when you have done all of that, just take your spoon and give it a good old stir. And this is how you make our very complicated honey mustard. Now that we have gotten our honey mustard all made up, let's go build ourselves a couple Hawaiian hot dogs. So here I have four hot dog rolls, three toasted and one nut. That's for the oddball in the house. Well, first off, you want to load the hot dogs in the hot dog rolls. Well, I tell you, this is going to be one epic sandwich. Well, here goes the thing. Is a hot dog a sandwich or is it just a hot dog? Please leave in the comments what you think it is. Is it a sandwich or just a hot dog? And our hot dogs are all loaded up. Here I'm just going with a bit of ketchup. Well, this might be a bit of a controversy here, guys. But this is how we eat it at our house. After putting our bit of ketchup, we are now going to pile on our delicious spicy pineapple salsa. So I tell you, this looks good enough to eat already. And it is, but we have got to take it to the next level. And we are a couple more steps away. Just look at this delicious goodness. I say we need to pile on some more pineapple salsa and we will. Now that our pineapple salsa has been loaded, it is now time to drizzle on some of that honey mustard that we made earlier on. Well boys and girls, it's all coming along nicely. Remember that bacon that we cooked up earlier on, I just gave it a rough chop off camera. Now we're going to pile it on high on those hot dogs. And you can see it has all come together, but there's just one odd one in the set. Make a guess whose hot dog that is in the comments. So our Hawaiian hot dogs are all made up. So fasten your seatbelts and let's get ready for our drive by. Let's go. Well, boys and girls, here's our super delicious Hawaiian hot dogs, and they were tasty. I 
I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.